Today's lesson is on single strategy. How to beat the counterpuncher, the defensive player, or the so-called pusher, okay? Now, first thing you have to do when you're playing someone like that is give them respect. They are a worthy opponent. The counterpuncher has patience, and they usually have good athleticism. So give them respect, number one, and know that it's going to be, it could be a long day out there. So it's going to test you. It's going to challenge you to see if you have good patience, if you have consistency, and it's going to test your mental game. So the more tools that you have in the toolbox, the more you have readily available, the easier it's going to be to deal with the counterpuncher or the pusher. Um, do you have the ability to hit moon balls? Okay, you know, deep looping balls uh, that bounce up high to push your opponent back. Can you hit little short angles with slice? Can you hit a drop shot? Can you pull them in? Um, can you attack? Or do you have good approach shots? Can you hit good volleys? Can you hit a bunt volley, a drop volley, or aggressive volleys? So the more tools you have, the better off you're gonna be. So what, when you go out to practice, you know, practice all of those different shots, moon balls, just hitting hard uh, top spin to the corners, um, slice little angle shots, drop shots. All these shots are going to help you deal with that counter puncher much, much better. So let me just demo those shots to show you what I'm talking about. And when you, when you have that ability, remember, and even, you know, even if you're not playing a pusher or a counter puncher or a defensive player, having all those tools can help you figure out your opponent's weaknesses. Move them around the court and see where they're uncomfortable. And then try to play into those situations as much as possible, or especially on key points. So um, let me just show you those different shots and uh, use them, practice them, and guaranteed you're gonna start to deal with that pusher a lot better. Okay, I forgot to mention one of the most important reasons why you want to practice the high loopy stuff and the drop shots and the short angles is because defensive players, pushers, love to run side to side, but they do not like moving up and back. They're very uncomfortable at the net. Okay, the more tools you have in the toolbox, the easier it's going to be to deal with the defensive player. So right now I'm hitting some loopy shots and do it on both sides as well. These are the kind of shots you really need to have in the repertoire. So a lot of guys do not like this kind of stuff. And then you throw in the dropper. Once you push them back, come back with the dropper. <clears throat> or the short angle. The short angle will also work well. And you go back to the high loopy stuff. and then go right back to it. Short angle. Dropper. And then also, you know, come in, hit some aggressive volleys, and then also hit some bunt volleys, 
short volleys or try the drop volley as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. So get out there, practice those different shots, and you're gonna see some good results. Please hit a like uh, to this video, subscribe to the channel, and please check out my website, which is in the description box below. I have numerous courses there that can help you learn those different shots. All the best. Take care. Have a good one.